Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of TLA. My name is Keith Quinn, and I'm a local vlogger and blogger here in the San Francisco Bay Area. On this episode, I travel down to Half Moon Bay to do a little bit of crabbing and rockfish combo before the end of the year. I also have some exciting announcements on the channel and events coming up, so you guys want to stay tuned for this one. Let's get started. So here's the honest thing about kayak fishing. It ain't always sunshine, rainbows, and unicorn farts. In fact, before we get on a good bite that makes for good YouTube content, we get a lot of this. So there's like a storm coming this way. Um, it's being held kind of in the south area right now, but um, it looks like it's, it's, pre it's going pretty good over there. It's raining pretty hard. It might get rained on. Hey, this is complete. Yes, kayak fishing can suck when the weather forecast is completely wrong and you find yourself stuck in the cold and getting rained on, but too stubborn to call it a day and go home with your tails between your legs. We live to fight another day and so that takes us to present time. It's cold. Welcome to this episode of TLA. Hope you guys enjoy December because December is cold. My name is Keith Nguyen, also known as the Los Anchovy. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. For those that have followed me, thanks for joining me in this journey over the last few years. Okay. So today I'm just heading out to Half Moon Bay. We're just gonna do some basic fishing for some crab and I'm looking for some halibut. I know there has been halibut here in this particular area um, in the winter. You know, a lot of people say halibut kind of move offshore and I, and I completely believe that as well, but there has been some local halibut being caught here. So I really want a late season halibut. The links are, you know, the links are filthy. The links do what the links do. But, um, but that's the goal today. You know, it's fishing in the winter is very limited in what you can do anyways. Um, few announcements, few announcements. First announcement is that we are almost at 5,000 subs on this YouTube channel. And that means is that it's time for a giveaway. We're going to do some giveaway and I want to reward those that have followed me for a long time. And I've been actually been working on printing some shirts and and putting some really, really cool things together with cups and mugs and things like that. So I wanna get those out to the, the people who have subscribed to this channel and really supported me over the years. And also for some new people that may want to subscribe to the channel and check out the things that we're doing, you know, I'm gonna give you a chance to get on some of this merchandise as well. Okay, uh, on top of that, we are in the preliminary stages of planning something around uh, January 14th, 15th weekend. That's kind of that first week of, of January, uh, second week of January or something for a, um, a festival or a get together. It's something we've done uh, at CCK a few years ago and I think it was a big success. There was a lot of people that came to that event and we had a lot of fun. It was about how to do crabbing and stuff like that and doing seminars and, and things of that nature. So if there are topics you guys want to get for me to talk about at those seminars or people at the CCK uh, fishing team to talk at those seminars, let me know. So leave a comment below seeing what are things that you guys would like to learn about uh, in terms of kayak fishing or fishing in general so that we, as we plan for these events coming up on January 14th or 15th weekend, I can incorporate that as well. So I just want to give you guys an update on that. I'm going to get ready and we're going to get out there and we're going to go get some filthy link on halibut and also crap. from time to time I get invitations to review and use certain products. Andrew from Rogue Endeavor sent me this fish stringer to check out. I'm pretty picky about the products that I test and review but I really like their company. They offer quality products, they kayak fish and promote products for kayak fishermen, divers and stand up paddle waters. I was pretty happy with this stringer. It was sturdy and had a strong lanyard to connect to the kayak. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out their site and the different products.
For those who don't know, the commercial crab season has been delayed until at least December 30th. Commercial crab gear is stacked at Halfway Bay Harbor awaiting the official opener, but from my experience, when the season opens up with the crab, it's pretty darn scarce, so I recommend getting your crab on before it starts and opens. We will find some crabs. All right. So it was really hard finding bait this morning. I got this one guy. It's pretty darn big. But. <sighs> big fish. Big bait. Big fish. So let's get him down there. Hopefully I'll find something. Big bait, big fish. All right, buddy. Go find me something. So that took me roughly about a minute and a half. Get yeah, filthy. It's hard to make bait though. That's the problem. I hope, hopefully I can still keep my bait. Heavy. Alright. Keep my bait. Keep my bait. Keep my bait. Ah, get my fish. Keep my bait. Yes. Yes. Double winner. Yes, baby. Instantly. Got a cavy. And I kept my bait. Nice. Nice cabbie. That took me two seconds. Oh, look at that. Yes. Just leave that guy up there. Success. One big. Yeah. So. When I was fishing, I thought I got snagged, and I did get snagged. And I kind of worked it, worked it, worked it out of the area, and I got a filthy. I got a filthy. What do you guys think? Wow, I thought it was a cabbie at first, the way it was going, but it's a filthy. Look. Look at that. It's a nice filthy too. But now I have no more bait and they're biting. So I'm kind of screwed. I have no more bait. What do you do now? Look at that guys. Filthy, filthy. I have no more bait. Go find some more bait. I had one smelt, two fish. Ah! You go find some bait. Filthy, filthy. And clip. All right, I think I got a nice filthy ling here. The bait's pretty big, so I gotta kind of let it take it. That's so aggressive, they'll just take anything, you know? Yep, let it go. Let's 
Swim back down. Hopefully we'll get a few big ones in this one. All kind of a mixed grade now. Mixed grade. Got, got, I think I got two. Got one for sure right here. Maybe that one too. These are all small. So. All right. So on that first set, I was able to pull three from them. So got two nice crabs here. Two. And then one right there is three. So each pot got one each. Darn it. Holy smokes. Got some really nice ones in here. Oh, smacks. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Jump up. Yeah, that's nice. Two nice jumbles right there. We had earlier, huh? No, he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. Get close. All right, guys, we're we're back at the harbor. Oh man, what a day! I hate winter fishing. It is cold. Ah, oh, it's cold. All right, so uh, we did pretty well. Uh, we got ten. Beautiful dungeons. Man, I thought these things were huge. Look at the quality. I don't know if you can see that, but these are some quality crabs right there. We also finished the day with a filthy and a cabby and 10 quality crabs right there. So, oh, gonna ask for a better day, honestly. I'm fishing, anyways. But, um, but yeah, it was, I'm amazed that this place was even producing. I was amazed this place was even producing. You know, the swells were a little bit choppy big, but I was looking at the tides and I thought that it was pretty good. So tides and, and everything plays a big role. So you definitely have to go when, when everything is kind of in your favor. I kind of worked the tides and I, I got the crabs. All right. So that's that. Guess. Guess who? I saw here at the harbor. <laughs> it's June, more than What's fishy. <laughs> now I'll tell you guys right now, it ain't all rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> Sometimes when we fish, it's just that's just the rainbow and butterflies just make it to the edits. <laughs> it's well, not always rainbows and butterflies. Nah, June, tell me, tell them what happened. I'm just tired. He's just tired. <laughs> I got a new kayak right here, <laughs> and uh, I usually. I used to use the motor one, but this time, oh man. Oh, he's, he's, he's feeling it, he's feeling it. Oh, that's kayak fishing, baby. <laughs> that's how it is. Man. It is, man. It's fishing, right? It's fishing. It's fishing, exactly. So June is allowed, his, his big thing is um, surf fishing. Surf yeah. fishing, he always has a ton of these different events. And I got to actually show up to his events to try to at least skunk, because I am not. I have no idea. That's like not even my realm of, of expertise. <laughs> Give me on a kayak, that's a whole other story. Give me on the surf. I'll probably lose like crazy. 
But uh, yeah, so maybe me and June's got to do a collab, and uh, maybe sure. he'll take me out there and, and we'll fish together. Who knows? We'll sure, see. Sure, man. Yeah. So thank know. you, thank you for showing up today. All right, man. All right. Well, all right. It's always not never always, not always a great day. <laughs> all right, guys. So my final update for the year, and it's an exciting one, is that are you guys ready? The herring has shown up. The herring has shown up in the bay. The first schools of the herring has shown up in the bay. So if you guys follow me regarding the herring, you know that that's one of the big things that my blog is about, is about having that herring run. It happens in December all the way to about February with the major runs happening in roughly in January, second to third week of January. That's when they usually like to spawn, but you know, any given year it can go any different way. So uh, that's the big thing. So I'm, I'm super excited, you know, we're in December and so we're going to get the thing started. Go check out my blog at thelosanchovy.com slash blog and in there it should be the first one there and it has a whole thread about the herring spawn and you guys should check it out. You know, you guys might get into that, that's the best thing. Personally, that's the best bait I think for to catch basically anything. I caught salmon with it, halibut, rockfish, whatever it is in the ocean. So that's, uh, that's what I primarily use in the ocean when I go fishing. Um, Summer, so if that, uh, you guys want to save some money or get some bait, definitely give that a shot. Okay, so if you guys enjoy this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you guys next time in another episode of Kingland. Come visit our store in beautiful Redwood City, where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time.